Hey guys, Brandon here, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a effective way to do overlays. Um, I don't really use overlays anymore, but if you use overlays or you've been trying to add something new to your edits, and overlays aren't really doing it, uh, this is one technique you could do just to kind of add more life to the overlay. I can't really explain to it. It's um, like the overlay I'm gonna use is kind of be act like a CC lens. I'm just going to use this kind of plasma explosion as my overlay. I'll just set a marker here. Here, that's uh, the overlay I'm going to be using. It's something really special. But for this tutorial you, and the effect, you're going to want to open two new video tracks for your overlay. Let me actually just sync up the first shot. It's going to be kind of hard because of the brightness, but it's whatever. And for your two video tracks, you're just going to want to duplicate the overlay so they're stacked on top of each other. Top layer, you're going to want to set to add. And in the bottom layer, you're going to want to select custom. And it's going to open up a window for you. And you're going to want to select Sony Height Map. And it's going to open up this window. We can just ignore that for now. And if I mute the track, it might not do it right here. Yeah. So that's what the overlay looks like um, by itself but when you add a clip to it see how it kind of warps the screen it looks really bad because of the widescreen bars it's kind of hard also because of the yellow here let me just do this make it easier for you guys to see so if we just put it here randomly see how it warps the screen and colors that's pretty much what it is and that's pretty much the whole tutorial uh... one tip i can give you is um like see how it starts to tear here in the middle go to your displacement layer and open up uh, the custom and then you can animate and then make sure you have your sync cursor clicked so you can keyframe when the tearing starts and you can lower it to where the tearing will go away I wouldn't recommend having keyframe oh my bad I wouldn't recommend having a keyframe before the actual fix because then it'll be really sudden if you do it bef um, over time then you'll still get the uh, kind of warping effect and it'll ease out to where you won't get it but uh, that's the tutorial guys if you could um, give this video a like that'd be great also if you could comment on other tutorials you'd like um, that would help a lot too because I'm kind of running out of ideas of what to do for tutorials but anyway you guys anyways guys um, thank you for watching I'll see you in the next tutorial.